Welcome back to the Power of Public YouTube channel. In today's video, we're just going to be showing you how to remove the Rotax ring gear. Now, in last week's video, we were showing you about the Rotax clutch shoes and clutch drum. So this is just a question that somebody asked that they'd like us to explain how to pull the ring gear off so that they can clean and service the bendings. So let's get to it. Okay, so the ring gear is kept onto the end of the crankshaft on a taper, so it locks itself on and it's got a retaining arm. Both are very, very tight, so you're gonna to need to get a rattle gun, preferably, otherwise, a very big brake bar, and a 30 millimeter impact socket. So this is a traditional right hand thread, so set your rattle gun to reverse, 30 millimeter impact socket, you can hold the ring gear by hand if you like, otherwise you can use your clutch locking tool like so. Just hold it in place and then spin the nut straight off the end of the crankshaft. So to remove this uh, ring gear from the crankshaft, you're going to need a puller like this. And it's just a disc of steel with a tap tool in the center. And then the three clearance holes there for your... M6 cap screws. Okay, so the clutch puller screws into those holes first, which is just the uh, little M6 cap screws. Once you've got the puller screwed into the ring gear, it's time to do up the jacking screw off the end of the crankshaft. If you can't get this ring gear off because it's too tight, you can use a little bit of heat from a plumber's gas torch and slightly heat this ring gear up and that can also break the Loctite off the taper. Now that you've got the ring gear removed, you can remove the Bendix, the starter reduction gear, and you can clean this out. This comes up with a bit of chain lube over time and can make it a little bit hard to um, move across here. So you clean all this off with some, some solvent and then re-lubricate it and re-lubricate the spigot that goes in the bearing. So now with the starter reduction gear removed, you can spray some solvent on there and just give that all a, a rub down. I remove all the chain loop. So now you've cleaned the Bendix, you can just spray some WD-40 on there. Just so that it's easy for it to rotate. And we're going to re-lube the spigots with some bearing grease. So another good idea before you put your ring gear back on is to rub the inside taper with a bit of emery paper. Just to remove any of the old Loctite. So now you've cleaned all the assembly the ring gear, the Bendix, it's time to reassemble it. Reinstall the starter reduction gear inside the crankcase. Apply some Loctite to the ring gear. Just rub it in with your finger, like so. Reinstall the ring gear to the crankshaft. Drop a Loctite for the retaining nut. Screw on the retaining nut. and lock it all together with the rattle gun. This nut needs to be 110 newton meters, so grab yourself a big breaker bar, secure the engine down to the bench, otherwise get a, uh, a heavy duty rattle gun and rattle that nut up very tight. Okay, so there you have it. That's how you remove the Rotax ring gear so you can get the starter reduction gear out to clean, service, and then obviously replace all the parts as necessary. Now this question is brought to you by the East End Hunter, he's an OG subscriber to the Power Public channel. So thanks so much for that question slash comment. If you like the video, consider subscribing, giving us a thumbs up, leaving a comment in the comment section below is always helpful as well. If you want to follow along on Instagram and Facebook, you can do that at Power Public. Or you can go to our website www.powerpublic.com.au, grab yourself a t-shirt, or a brand new Road Tax Max Race engine. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.